Well, to all the mothers out there, advance Happy Mother's Day. Okay, so we are working hard here. We're trying to ship it every day now. We have gotten a lot. We've gotten hundreds of order for the first what couple of days. Your Mother's Day gift set is available. This is free. Okay, it, it comes like this, guys. Okay, it has crystals, candles, everything that you can think of, and it's free. Okay, so you can check it out. Um, once you either you purchase any of our mother collection mother's day collection i'll tag this in the video and this is how it comes oh it's lovely of course it's lovely okay <laughs> so make sure to check it out any of our mother's day again but my personal recommendation of course is multiple blessing um this is what i wear okay for for attracting uh, attracting more blessings okay now we're gonna talk more about this because i'm pretty sure people's wondering did i tune into qvc well you did <laughs> Okay, so let's begin here. What happened to the chart? Okay, let me just see here. Okay, there we go. So let's see here. I'll talk more about multiple blessing, the Akshaya Tritya. Okay, so Libra. Mm -hmm. I love QVC. So if you're in that vibe, you're in the right channel. If you're not, when were you born? Okay, imagine you can shop before you go to bed. No, Amazon came and then I think. So let's see here for the Libra. Make sure to check out all the, you know, previous videos I upload here daily. Let me see the transit. We have a new moon happening in your seventh house in Aries. Don't get confused. I do say dear Vedic astrology. The sun is in Aries, not in Taurus. That's how we, that's how we read it, okay? Because we look into the sky and then we look at it and we see, oh, the sun is in Aries. That's it, okay? Sun in Venus in the seventh house. Oh, this is wonderful. This is wonderful. It's um, it's a time where um, you're realizing something about the connection. Okay, so a revelation. It would uh, it would show here. Let me see, a revelation because you feel so paranoid. Okay, if you guys can see it. Okay, if you're new to my channel. I always give out remedies here besides the reading. So if you like to fix things, well, you're in the right place. You have a tower, so how can I repair what is already broken? I forget uh, what do you call that in uh, in a Japanese tradition, iki something. When you fix something that is broken, they like a broken vase, they put gold, and then they, it comes back into an art form. So I feel like that's what we need right now, iki something, I forgot. Okay, so Eight of Swords right here with the tower. Feels like you don't understand if it's gonna work out. Jupiter has left the seventh house. The happiness of a relationship depends on Jupiter. And Jupiter is the Karaka for the spouse. And now it's in the eighth house. Eighth house is sudden changes. So in this relationship, probably you're feeling like, yeah, I feel like this is the change that I needed. However, with Venus in the seventh, this would be a time, okay, where the relationship, um, how do you call this, uh, uh, can be resuscitated, okay, because Venus can bring back the dead. Okay, meaning way, way back, thousands of years ago, she's the only graha that can bring back the dead. So I believe that's the reason why sometimes relationships that are done can still come back. But that time, they were talking about real dead. <laughs> so some necromancy kind of thing, okay? But here, the love that you have for this person, I feel like there's still a spark. Venus in the seventh shines brightest, okay? And this is a desire. So Eight of Swords with a tower, I know it's contradicting the Tarot and then the astrology. So you may have this contradicting energy with regards to the relationship. Two of Pentacles. So there is still a back and forth. Mm -hmm. You have a Seven of Cups. You're confused and they're confused. You don't understand if, you know, like where are we really, right? Two of Pentacles with the Seven of Cups. I'm seeing here right now where... Mm, the two of you do share the love for each other. Mm. You have a ten of cups. Look at that. You guys could have kids together or married. So this is the time where you analyze and you say, it's like, okay, so what do I do, right? The new moon happening, uh, new moon, right? I think it's new moon, but it's in the seventh house. Yeah, it's new moon in the seventh house um, for you in the partnership. So then you're going to see the situation. It's just like, hmm, like what is really going on here? Right? So it could be a new beginning for the two of you. But a Seven of Cups is like, Sal, I don't know. Maybe not, you know? Because there's a lot of things that was shady in this relationship. But there's one thing that is not shady is the feelings that you guys have for each other. So that one is for reals, okay? I'm just letting you know. 
since um, you do have this King of Cups right here, this is love, this is Scorpio card, Five of Pentacles, um, but you feel left out. You feel that you're taken for granted. You feel that they don't appreciate you. You can agree or disagree with me on this one, um, but we are the one in charge of our feelings. Okay. People will treat us like SHIT, and people will treat us like king and queens, you know, but we are still in charge of our feelings and emotion. Yes. So the feeling of emptiness is deep-seated trauma. Okay. Now, uh, again, agree or disagree with me, because the five pentacles, like, I feel like they don't love me. I feel like they don't care about me. I feel like they don't this and that. If you feel that, I feel like you need to put that effort to yourself not coming from someone else. The love that we have for ourselves should be more than anything that love that we give to others. So that's because that's the only way that we can love others if we start fulfilling our own needs. So when we feel empty, chances are that's the inner, uh, you know, uh, I, I don't know, the inner Libra within you saying, hey, why are you not doing the same love, affection, time, money, effort, energy, you know, to yourself? There's a reason why there's a void. Five pentacles with a tower. There's an eight of swords also. That's why you're kind of confused right now. So here, from what I'm seeing, there's going to be a transformation with you, Libra, because, see, the reason why you feel this emptiness is you depend. Six of pentacles with a tower, you depend on this relationship. I'm not saying that it's codependent, but, oh, if they text or if they do this and that, and then it kind of makes, you know, it... it uh, how do you call this? It sets the tone of the day. So you anchor the relationship. You put it in a pedestal, which there is no, nothing wrong with that one. But again, when I coach here, I don't put nobody in pedestal because they're humans. And humans are mere mortals and they're not perfect. I'm not perfect. I'll have my shortcomings. So if I know that the person will have shortcomings, six of pentacles to the tower, then it's almost as if like if I put them in that, you know, in that uh, castle, I know they're going to fail. So I set the relationship to failure instead of just anchoring myself to the love that we both shared. So it's the love that, that is the center, not the text, not the call, not the money, not this, not that. The love, right? The love that is there, intangible, Ten of Cups. You see that? So here, you're looking for earthy, time spent, attention, could be finances, also five pentacles. I don't know, but it's earthy. It has to be shown, right? But love is felt. But Sal, no action, no feelings. I understand that, but you choose to be in love. It was a free, it was a free will. So now you're asking to multiply this love. You know, you're manifesting this. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're manifesting them, ooh, to heal the situation, you get that a three of swords. Mm -hmm. Then may I be of service? Okay. If you're healing the relationship, I'm gonna go to my healing journey on May 10. Akshaya Tritya. Okay, when the sun is exalted in your seventh house and the moon exalted in the eighth house. If there's any instability in the relationship, I'll put the intention in your multiple blessing. This does not get shipped until after May 10. I'm letting you know because I have to go to the river. I go to the river every year. Okay? So it's, a, it's a spiritual practice that I do. Okay, and when you get this, don't forget, you get your Mother's Day gift set for free. This is, this is amazing because, you know, I want all the mothers, you know, out there to be happy or listen to me, okay? So make sure to check our Mother's Day collection, okay? And this is free shipping in the U.S. We ship to more than 80 countries across the globe also. So do check it out and I'll put the intention in your uh, multiple blessing bracelet, okay? So the Three of Swords with the Tower and the Six of Pentacles, you feel the burden right now. You feel the pressure. You feel the heartache. That's why I told you there will be um, healing here in this connection. Mm -hmm. You have the King of Wands here. Oh, you feel like, oh, they do whatever they want anyway. You know, King of Wands. So not a team player, right? Mm. So that, of course, you know, can be a challenge. 
And then the Page of Pentacles, you just want them to, you just want to hear them say sorry. You know, I know a lot of people put value in the words. That's important. That's communication. I don't know how to coach you here because love is freeing. Love is, is this energy where it does not ask. It does not, it does not ask. So I don't know how to say it, Libra, where if you have to, if you need something in order to feel the love that is desire. Love is you wake up in love, right? So again, I don't know if you have kids or not. Like, you know, I, you know, like, you know, as a parent, right? You wake up, you just love the kids. That's the same love as anything that will be shared to anyone. You just love, you know? Your kid could be like a problem child. <laughs> it's like you wake up, you still love them. Does it make sense to you? So here in an adult relationship, I understand two of Pentacles, the reciprocity, that they need to give something back because how Venus in the seventh, you said that if Venus is disrespected, it will not bless the relationship anymore because it's not reciprocated. So yes, clearly, you're falling out of love in this situation. Mm -hmm. And now you're scared, nine of wands right here. But there's still hope because you have a judgment. Will they change, right? This is what you're asking. Will there be a chance to reconcile? This is a judgment. So now the relationship is at, at the point where it is. Is it or will it? Well, we shall find out with the judgment, okay? Now, I got to go. I got to start. <laughs> okay, we're shipping. Oh, and it's uh, this is the weekend time, right, when they upload this. This is the only time that we can guarantee that it will reach because it's the Mother's Day is the next Sunday. It's at 12. So either you order today or I'm sorry, but I cannot guarantee that I can ship it. Okay, so I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Do check out our Mother's Day collection. Have a good one.